This off-grid washing machine cost me less than eight bucks for a new bucket and a plunger. Just drill some holes in the plunger. It's the cheapest plunger I could get. Brand new. It was less than less than two dollars fifty. The lid on, and you can just pump away one-handed. Very easy. I can feel it turning the clothing around. This thing is just so easy to use, ideal on a camping trip or off-grid. We're just about to go buy a, a property with a few acres and at the moment this is the only washing machine we've got. We literally haven't got one. I use this. I do it about two or three times a week and it works. All a washing machine needs, any washing machine to work, is water, detergent and agitation. So preferably warm water. And you can see you can see the colour, the water's gone there now. And these clothes weren't, I didn't think, all that dirty. But there you go, they, this thing really works. It's well worth having one as a backup if your power goes out. Oh, Handy to take camping with you. You could store the provisions in the bucket. It takes up no room, hardly at all. And it's, it's just ideal, it's perfect. All I do is I squeeze the water out, transfer it into clean water. And just rinse it through quickly. At the moment, uh, I haven't got a hand wringer. I would like one. I shall get one as soon as I find one. But at the moment, I'm just wringing it out by hand. It's no big deal, really. And then I just hang it out on the washing line to dry. See how much dirt came out of that little bit of washing there. Looks pretty gross really. But there you go, less than eight bucks. You've got, you've got a useful little washing machine. And I, I did the video because I, I just can't believe how good it works. Okay, so this lot is the one load that I did in that bucket washing machine. So and that was easy, easy to do. But of course, on any great washing day, here comes a storm. 